Tony D and Little Joan, what a screenwriter's rant on a forgotten man. A uh, war drama, black and white, looks very indie, um, but it takes place after the Great War, and it's about the fallout of that. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Uh, check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 14. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, uh, Heinrich comes back from the war. But he's got uh, a lot of fallout from it. And that is... <laughs> He's burning a lot of papers, burning a lot of pictures because uh, he was from Switzerland and, uh, you know, the, the, the Swiss, I, uh, I don't remember the exact history about it, but uh, in the trailer they say, uh, they say the Swiss work for the bad guy from Germany six days a week and on the seventh day they would pray for an allied victory. So it kind of tells you what the Swiss were doing. They didn't really want to be part of it, uh, but they, they kind of were forced into it. And so I think uh, the main character is dealing with a lot of PTSD and uh, trauma from the war. And uh, there's a lot of political intrigue after the war. This is April 12th. So it looks kind of interesting. It looks like kind of like they're digging down into a part of history uh, that, on the one hand, looks a little tough to wrap your brain around, but is different and kind of interesting because you wonder, you know, how people dealt with, uh, you know, the post-war situation. Uh, directed by Laurent Negre. Uh, let's see, do we have a screenwriter? Not not seeing it. I don't recognize the names of any of the actors. With the support of the Federal Office of Culture. So, it's a Swiss film, so it's interesting to see the big war, uh, as I keep calling it, from the position of the Swiss. And I think one of the guys, uh, I think his young Maybe his young son is actually a huge fan of a certain bad guy from Germany. So that that's not good. And he's arrested as a terrorist. So a lot of damage is being dealt with after this war. And uh, he's trying to hold his family together, trying to get his life back. But like one of the first thing things his wife says in the trailer is, you know, Berlin has changed you. So I guess he was in Berlin before it all, it all came crashing down. Um, so yeah, it's considered a war drama movie, but I'm not seeing any war scenes, really. A couple of shots, but those seem like stock footage. Seemed more like, maybe that's flashback. Not really the emphasis. It's more on the drama of the fallout from the war. So, uh, yeah, I would see this. I think I would. Um, wouldn't be a good date movie unless your date was equally, uh, you know, into seeing, like, a deep dive into this particular moment in history. Um, let's see, before I read the write-up. Uh, first act, he comes home after the war, and at first everybody's happy, but it's clear that things have changed. Um, he's changed. And, um, things get increasingly worse until there are, there, you know, people almost immediately forget the uniting forces that brought them together during the war and now start fighting amongst themselves about the direction uh, Switzerland is going in. At the same time, he's got a lot of family intrigue, and now all these things that had been suppressed during the war, because they kind of had to, 
now it's all bubbling up to the surface like now everybody's complaining um he is under a tremendous amount of pressure he's dealing with you know what went before he's burning papers left and right there's about five scenes of him burning papers in the fireplace oh, let me get rid of this picture of me and you know who um so i imagine at some point he gets confronted by his past and that impacts you know the politics at the time and what he did and did he participate in any un you know unspeakable crimes that are now probably at this point they're probably starting they probably started the Nuremberg trials by then or at least the wind up to it um I forget what years it, it would have been right after the war right so you know would he be drawn into that and the ending I mean it could get pretty dark right it could it could be that you know he can't take it or that his whole life falls apart and his family falls apart. Something's going on with his son, though, clearly. So I'm not sure it's going to have, like, a clean-cut ending. Um, all right, let's read the write-up. In the spring of 1945, as the bad guys from Germany regime collapsed, Swiss ambassador Heinrich, wow, what a name, uh, Zweigart, Flees bombed out Berlin after serving eight years in the capital of the Reich. This is the end of a dreadful mandate during which he had to make fatal compromises to preserve the neutrality and security of his country. Ah. For Switzerland to end on the winning side after the war, someone will have to pay. Haunted by his past, struggling to secure a future, but driven by his ambition, Zweigert feels tr the trap closing in on him. He made it through the war, but will he survive the peace? Oh, okay. So they're looking to throw him under the bus so that the Swiss can be more aligned with the Allies. Okay. Wow. And this is based on a true story, so I assume they do throw him under the bus. Um, you know, that's rough, man. That's rough. This, this could be really good. Could be really good. And I'm not just saying that because it's an art piece and it's in black and white, but I mean, that's, that's a tough call, right? When you're living under a regime like that and you're just trying to keep your country neutral and keep it surviving, keep it from being, you know, because Switzerland's small. They couldn't have stood up against these evil people. And, um, so, and there's a lot of shenanigans going on with the Swiss, you know, in terms of the money and who moved what money, right? So, very interesting. I would like to see this. Yeah. But probably not a date movie. Probably kind of dark. You know, again, unless your date was really into this sort of history. Um... Yeah, I'd probably watch it on streaming. Although, eh, you never know. I might go to an art house movie to see it. It's the kind of place that it would show. If it, if it gets much of a distribution. Feels like it would be an Oscar bait movie. Uh, but we're a long way from that now. So, uh, a lot of times when a movie like this drops very early after the Oscars, it's kind of forgotten. So, <laughs> Ironically, a forgotten man. Anyhow, uh, I guess check it out if you're into that history. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, Bitchroot, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. I will be tomorrow at the uh, Nerd Force Fan Fest at the Marriott in Glassboro, New Jersey. Uh, that's from 10 to 4. It's going to rain and rain and rain and rain. But that's okay. It's at a hotel. It's inside. It's inside. I just have to get my stuff in there without getting soaked. And it's at a hotel, so I'll just park under the overhang. So, um, should be a good day. Should be a good day. So, I hope you come out. We'll see you in the next one.